the hair is dry so your hair is going to be dry hi everyone welcome to discovery natural as you know if this is your first time watching our videos well that means you don't know what I'm going to say but if this is your first time watching our videos welcome to our channel and please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also that notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified anytime we go live we always go live every Sundays at 3 p.m. so you can come on and ask your question so today is all about fall it's fall today is officially the first day of fall 2017 depending on when you're watching this fall season is upon us and we're ready to embrace it so with fall season your hair regimen might have to change the way you do things will be different from in the warmer season versus in the cooler season fall and winter season is um, can actually have havoc to our hair your hair can dry out it can be hard for you to keep your hair moisturized and because of that you really do want to change up some stuff the first thing that you have to concentrate on is the moisture keeping your hair moisturized doing things that improve the moisture in your hair one the number one thing that I do in the fall that I don't do in other seasons especially when it comes to my hair on wash day is I do a hot oil treatment so I take my hot oil um, this is a mixture of different oils I have a button that is gonna come up there a card so when you see those cards make sure you click on them because they will take you to how I do this routines okay so I do a hot oil treatment and I apply it in my hair before I wash my hair this infuses moisture into my hair this helps my hair thrive the next thing that I do is I make sure I don't shampoo so much what do I mean by that let's say in the winter um, summer season I'm usually shampooing my hair once a week in the winter season because you have a tendency of having dry scalp because the hair is dry everything is dry you can actually dry out your hair by shampooing your hair too much so my advice to you is to incorporate things like co-washes or like apple cider vinegar rinses this is an apple cider vinegar rinse that I use you can incorporate those kind of things instead of using ash shampoos even if you decide to use shampoos you can try to see if you can go a little bit longer in between shampoos and co-wash in the middle of the week and then shampoo at the end of the week when you shampoo don't skip on deep conditioning if there's any time that you're gonna skip on deep conditioning fall season winter season spring when it's still early spring is not a good time to skip on it so when you skip on it your hair will not hold on to that moisture okay the hair is dry so your hair is going to be dry <laughs> yes believe me so what I do is that I incorporate things like using a leave-in conditioner always use a leave-in conditioner if you don't have a leave-in conditioner you can use my DIY leave-in conditioner which you can make by yourself always use a leave-in conditioner because what a leave-in conditioner does is that after you've finished washing your hair you finish doing all the stuff like deep conditioning your hair okay so I deep condition my hair with this after you finish doing all that stuff what a leave-in conditioner does is that it helps to intensify the moisture it helps to keep the moisture going okay so that's what you want to do so that is number one two three four now the next thing that I do is I make sure I protect my hair if I'm gonna go outside if my hair is in twist if my hair is not out what I do is that I use like my satin scarf like a scarf like this and then I'll use a bonnet or like this this is like a beanie so it's much lightweight and this is something that I'll use when I'm going to the gym and this one is much thicker for when the weather gets colder so I'll use those combinations of stuff 
I want you to do something. Comment below. Let me know what are some things that you do when it comes to the fall season. How do you protect your hair? Some people do protective styles. You know, they don't wear their hair out. And some people can do without protective style. So those aspects of it is your call. So if you like this video, thank you so much. Thanks for giving us a thumbs up. Okay? And make sure you watch these other videos right over here and let us know if there's any questions you have comment below and I'll do a video about it thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video or in our family vlog channel DN vlogs live bye